All right, guys, we're back with another video here. Uh, we're going to do a, a block takeoff this time. And uh, this wall here is a little bit different. Uh, if we zoom in here, you can see that, um, you know, we got three courses of a, of a different colored block there at the bottom. Um, then we got, oh, what is it, somewhere around 11, 11 four or something like that through the middle. Two more courses of that, uh, that same block. And then we got some, uh, some standard block at the top here at, it showed um, the, the the block through the from the bottom all the way up to here. All this is a split face, and we just got two courses of a, of a standard block there at the top. So um, we're going to run through a takeoff here and show you how we can accomplish all these different block in the same wall. So um, and on two of the sides, uh, we we have those three courses at the bottom on the the south and the east side. On the north and the west side, the concrete foundation wall actually goes up a little bit higher there. Um, not sure what's going on there, but uh, but the foundation wall goes up a little bit higher, so we just don't have those three courses. You can see we, we do have the end of them right there on the on the north wall there. But uh, but let's uh, let's jump into it here, and I'm going to do this one on the on the floor plan instead of the foundation page. The reason I'm going to do that is we can also pick up these interior walls. Uh, if we do it here on the floor plan, um, I, I didn't see them. Yeah, see, they're not shown here on the foundation. Um, I, I guess they are shown over here. We can see the, the rebar coming out of the the footings. Um, but they're just a lot easier to see here on the on the floor plan. So we're, we're just going to do it on here. So so um, this the, what we got here is a, an addition to the a new feature here, the plug-in. Um, got multiple different bands inside this wall and, and whether they're all the same block all the same color um, you know different blocks different block sizes different colors whether they're uh, standard block gray block split face anything like that we, we can accomplish that with with the new feature we have here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop this right here in our job folder because on, on this takeoff here all we're doing is the, the CMU for this contractor so uh, we are going to do 8 inch block and again you know we can just name it uh, you know whatever we want here so okay so that's just an assembly obviously it's not a digitizer so if we open that up now we're going to see the items that we need in here right here there's our you know our standard CMU assembly with a few modifications here to make it do this uh, this multiple different bands inside that wall um, some of the other items are only on here one time because uh, presumably they're going to be the same throughout the wall so let's go back to our elevation here and looks like we're going all the way down the east side and the south side we're stopping eight inches short of the end um, and I and I am uh, on this bottom band. It looks like we could, we could stop on each side of <clears throat> each side of these doors here. Um, I'm going to blow right through them and come back and do a, a door opening on there. Uh, the the reason for that is if I if I do that door opening, it's going to allow me to pick up these eight inch blocks. Um, that way, my material list will be a lot more accurate, and I can actually just order those eight inch blocks instead of field cutting, you know, some sixteens. So I am going to, I am going to go right through the doorways there. You, you could, you know, if, if you were going to field cut them, um, definitely stop on each side of the door, start again. That'll, that'll keep you from having to do the, the door openings. Um, the openings really, I mean, I, I can probably, you know, pop in all three of these openings in, in less than a minute to get my material list just that much more accurate. Plus with that, I can also pick up the, the bars at the sides of the opening. If I, if I stop and start on each side, there's no guarantee that it's going to pick those up because it's based on a linear average um, at that point. But if I do the door opening, I can tell it that, hey, I have, you know, one bar on each side of the opening or something like that. So, so we're going to go three courses and I think what we'll do is start down the east side and go over down the south side there. So we'll t take our first assembly here. Uh, we're going to be two foot. Actually, I'm going to leave that on because we are going to scaffold all the way up that wall eventually. And 8 inch. We are going to be split face. So we'll pop that option in. Color. Um, I didn't get an answer on the color yet. They're supposed to get back to me on block color, so we'll, we'll worry about that here. 
um, in a little bit. And we had number fives at 24. Uh, there's not going to be any bond beams in this bottom one, so it looks like we're good to go there. So we'll just start up here, and we're going all the way down this side here. So there's that. <clears throat> and what are we there? 38 foot. And we were stopping eight inches short, which will be right there actually. So we'll move it over. Looks like they scaled them at eight inches. So we'll do that. We'll come over here and adjust this corner. Instead of putting them at seven and five eighths, they just have them at the nominal size. We'll change that. So. All right, so there's our there's our courses for that. So we got an eight by eight by 16. Um, looks like everything's good there. If I expand this, you can see it a little bit better. Um, again, we, we could put a color in. We don't know the color yet, so we'll, we'll wait to wait to hear on that. Uh, the mortar, we can also color. Um, by default, the mortar color is always going to be the block color, uh, unless you change that. You, you can change it, but uh, unless you manually change it, it will always be the block color itself. So that'll do that. Let's jump on to, let's see, how far do we got to go here? Let's see if we can find an elevation on the, there we go, right there. So it looks like we're going to go... Seven. Just make sure it's the same all the way around here. And it sure is. So that's nine foot four. Looks like that middle section is going to be nine foot four. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that. And I think we, yeah, we got one bond beam at the top of that. Okay, so I'm just going to take that, we'll duplicate it, we'll change the height here, um, the block, uh, everything going to be the same, the bond beams, um, again, you know, this is just the same assembly as our standard CMU, so uh, as far as the reinforcing the grout, uh, bond beam, stuff like that, it's all the same, so we put one bond beam in there, and let's just change the color here to anything else. And it looks like that one was going to go all the way around each side. Yep. Okay. So, if I had more than just these couple couple of walls here to digitize, I would, I would do them separately. Or, I would copy and paste them, but since we only got the couple of them, it's not a big deal. And when I come back around, I'm going to go out to in on all of those green walls. It just gets the uh, corner bar a little bit, little bit more accurate there. And with that, we'll need to drop in a bond beam in that wall because we had one. And that will take off some of the block off of there. You've just seen that number went down to accommodate for those those block. And for right now, I'm just going to assume there's two number fives. I'm, uh, pretty certain that that's what we're going to have here, but we'll we'll pick up that a little bit later here. If it's different, we'll change it. So we'll go back to here. Now it looks like we're going to have two more courses of that, um, presumably going to be the same color. Um, it's hatched out uh, just like this is for the split face. So I'm going to assume it's going to be that same as, as that, that bottom one there. It's going to be two courses of it. And let's take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like where that precast roof cap comes in, we're actually going to have like four inch block right there. 
but it's just going to be a couple of a couple of standard block, no bond beam in there. So what we'll do for that, we'll just take this one here, duplicate it, just change the height. Um, instead of having three courses, we'll have two. And this is going to go all the way around, and no bond beams there, obviously. Okay. And I just keep them at the in the same order that just going up the wall. So what I can do here is I can just copy all these since we're going all the way around it. And there we go. Now we're there's our uh, if I turn those off, you can actually see the purple there. So there's our two courses there all the way around. And let's jump up and looks like we're going to have two courses of just a standard block. Yeah, standard color CMU. I think I think what they're referring to is a standard block that's going to be colored. Is I'm assuming what that means, but and it looks like both of those top two courses are going to be a couple of bond beams there. So that'll be easy enough. What we'll do is just take this one here. We'll duplicate it again because the height is correct on it. And all right, so that one's going to be standard. And there's going to be two bond beams. And this is going to be a little bit different here, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. So again, we're going to be all the way all the way around that perimeter. All right, so we'll just copy that one, paste it in there. So there's our top. Um, but what we have right there is we're picking up all those blocks uh, until we drop this bond beam in there. We're going to continue to have those blocks in there. Now once we refresh it, this is going to go to zero because the entire wall is bond beams. So there we go. And again, I think these are preset at two number fives. Yep. And, and we'll check that out again, obviously. But um, So the, the reason we don't use this one is we can pick up the rebar a lot easier if we just use the bond beam part. I could have just changed this part to the bond beam. I could have just went here and, and selected that 8x8x16 eight by eight by knockout there. Um, but, but by using this part, dropping it in, we keep all the all the assemblies the same we're using the features you know the, the way they were intended to we're not kind of shortcutting or changing anything and we're we're picking up the rebar just a little bit easier instead of having to you know manually change a couple of things so there's that um, now what we need to do is we need to pick up the verticals um, Instead of doing them, instead of doing each wall separate and, and having the vertical stop at the top of each wall and then dowels coming in, you know, we're, we're going to do a four foot, you know, grout lift height on this. There would be a lot of extra rebar, um, especially in those, uh, you know, down here in this, this, uh, you know, two foot uh, wall here and this, this one foot four wall here, where in reality they're, they're going to go this far before they grout it. They're, they're not going to stop right there. You know, they're not going to stop here. They're going to go all the way up to here. So what we can do, since we know we have number fives at 24, um, what we can do is we can just take this here. And just trace around there. Lift height of four, uh, 24, uh, one one vertical per cell uh, with an 8-inch block. That's all we're going to get anyway. You know, if we have a 12-inch block, sometimes you'll have two, uh, things like that. So, um, and then what we could do if we really wanted to get more accurate, we could just offset these to get to the center of the wall. It might take off, you know, one or two, one or two bar. So we'll just refresh this. We'll get a number there. So we got 82 of them all the way around there. And what this does, and we got to refresh all these here to make that work right. There we go. So six six. The reason they're six six is we're doing f four foot grout height, um, forty eight bar diameters on a number five bar is two six. 
uh, 2.6 and 4 foot is 6.6, six, six, so that's that's why the height of the verticals are, are like that. This one here is what it takes to splice the top out, um, so we're just short of a, of a, of a full one there. Um, so it just gets a little more accurate. <coughs> you see, <coughs> see our overall wall height is 14 foot. Let's check that just to make sure. And 13, 14, that's right. So we're good there. 82 bars. I seen, I think over here, yeah, over here they actually had them all drawn out. Um, you know, I, I might be, if anything, I'm going to say I'm <clears throat> probably going to be four long because uh, generally one on each corner is what we're going to be long. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with picking up a few extra bars here. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, if you wanted to, you could use the count rebar um, rebar uh, takeoff item that we have and, and, and just go over to this page here and you could just go along the perimeter and count them out. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to be okay with just picking up the few extras that we got there. And there's our grout there. So yeah, that's about it. That's that's how you do a wall with multiple different bands in it <clears throat> with our new assembly there. Um, you see that we picked everything up. The you know obviously this here is just based on that 14 foot height. Um, you know if we look here, it's going to be 16 on center. Uh, you could obviously change that to you know eight. Uh, 24 is a little more uncommon, but sometimes used. I see 16 is uh, pretty much a standard. <clears throat> So now what we could do is we could just take our standard uh, CMU assembly. We could pick up these interior walls here. Um, but yeah, for this video, I just want to show you guys the, the new multiple band uh, wall part that we had. Um, we're also going to be uh, putting a video out. We have the, the same feature for some, some brick where we could, uh, you know, change colors or, or possibly brick sizes or types or whatever uh, within the wall. So we'll be putting a video out for that too. So uh, stay tuned for that.